this is information sheet number 8 about basic animation concepts. So after this, you must be able to determine what are the concepts to be learned about animation. As a kid, diba, I'm sure na paborito ninyong panoorin is yung mga cartoon programs or mga animated films. And even up to now na adults na tayo, pa fascinated pa rin tayo uh, watching these animated films, lalo na kung maganda yung mga animation ng mga characters or ng mga scenes. So what is animation? It is the illusion of movement created by rapid switching of many individual images. Okay. So, uh, dito sa ating mga picture, nakikita natin dyan. Of course, very familiar tayo sa Disney or Walt Disney Pictures. Kung saan dyan natin talaga, dyan tayo namulat sa mga animated films ng Disney. Yung mga iba't ibang stories na kinagiliwan natin. And very familiar tayo kay Mickey Mouse as the icon behind Walt Disney. Today, most animations are made with CGI or computer-generated imagery. Unlike before na yung traditional animation, yung hand-drawn, yung mga images, and uh, dinodrawing yan uh, sa iba't ibang papers, series of papers na kumbaga uh, scene by scene talagang dinodrawing nila intricately yung mga characters yung mga scenes. Pero ngayon mas madali na dahil nga meron na tayong mga computers that really can make um, beautiful animations uh, faster way more accurate. So, what are the careers in animation? We have the multimedia artists and animators. So, yung mga duties sa mga multimedia artists and animators are listed here. So, kadalasan sila talaga yung mga behind sa mga magagandang animation na kinagigiliwan natin. Okay? So, yung mga animation na ginagawa nila Usually, ginagamit for television, movies, video games, and other forms of media. Even through advertisement, diba, gumagamit na rin ng mga animation. Okay? So, na mababasa nyo dyan yung mga different functions or responsibilities ng mga multimedia artists and animators. And they work on a specific medium. So, kumbaga, may mga specialization din itong mga uh, multimedia artists and animators natin when creating yung mga films or video games in animation. Okay. So, we go to the types of animation. So, para mas maganda na malaman ninyo yung mga differences between these types, I will show um, short videos about each type para ma, mas ma-recognize ninyo yung naging evolution or yung differences between each type. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over the five different types of animation and show you some cool examples of each of them. We'll start off with traditional animation. You might call it 2D animation, but I actually place 2D in a different category and you'll see why later in the video. Traditional animation, sometimes referred to as cell animation, is one of the older forms of animation. In it, the animator draws every frame to create the animation sequence, just like they used to do in the old days at Disney. If you've ever had one of those flip books when you were a kid, you'll know what I mean. Sequential drawings, screened quickly one after another, create the illusion of movement. Traditional animation consists of hand drawings, called frames. In the past, the drawing occurred on a big light table, which is basically a drafting table with a big light panel in the middle of it, on which the animator drew the sequence. The light enabled the animator to see his previous drawings through the paper to get a better look of his animation. This is called onion skinning. 
Nowadays, even traditional animation is being done mostly on computers by using a tablet like the Wacom Cintiq. 2D or traditional animation is usually animated on 12 frames per second, with occasional faster actions animated on 24 frames per second. Japanese animation, however, is known to be animated on a lower frame rate in most cases. Next on the list is 2D animation. When I talk about 2D animation, I'm referring to vector-based animation, like the ones done in Flash. This style has become very popular in the last decade, with the increasing amount of people doing it due to the accessibility of the technology. Flash is cheap and easy to use, such are other vector-based animation programs. The reason I place 2D animation in a different category is that in addition to the option of animating frame by frame, an animator has an option of creating rigs for the characters and then moving the body parts individually instead of drawing the character over and over again. After Effects allows you to create complex rigs for animation or use the puppet tool to drag and move body parts around. These flexibilities give beginners more option when approaching animation, especially if drawing isn't their strong suit, unlike traditional animation where drawing skills are mandatory. The third type is 3D animation, also known as computer animation, or honestly just animation at this point, since this is the most common form of animation today, just like traditional animation used to just be called animation 30 years ago. 3D animation, however, works in a completely different way than traditional animation. They both require an understanding of the same principles of movement and composition, but the technical skill set is very different for each task. Like I've mentioned before, while in the past you had to be an amazing draftsman to be an animator, with computer animation that is not the case. 3D animation is more similar to playing with puppets rather than drawing. The animator moves the character in a 3D program with special controls that are connected to each body part, such as hands, elbows, lips, etc. And then sets a keyframe when all the body parts are in the right position. They proceed to move forward in time and move all these controls again to create another keyframe. The computer then calculates the journey the body parts is going through between each of those keyframes. A 3D animator will spend most of their time looking at curves that represent the movement of different body parts over time. Another big difference with 3D animation is that unlike traditional animation, the character's body parts are always present and should be taken into consideration. Let me explain. When animating in 2D, the character has to be drawn for every frame. When the character is viewed from the side, half of its body isn't shown and thus isn't drawn. It technically does not exist. It's drawn on a flat page and there isn't really more to the character other than what the animator draws. With 3D though, the character's body parts always exist in the shot. Even when one hand isn't visible, it's still there. That adds some work for the animator, since we need to be aware of the entire character at all times. The last major difference with 3D animation is the frame rate. Like I said before, traditional animators usually work on twos, which means they draw a new drawing every two frames, and thus having one drawing last for two frames. With 3D animation, however, the motion is always smooth, except for stylized pieces, which intentionally try to look different. Having a character stop completely looks like a mistake in 3D. Even when the character is standing still, there should always be some sign of life. This is something 2D animation can get away with much more easily than 3D. Number four on our list is motion graphics. While still considered a form of animation, motion graphics is rather different than the other types of animation on the list. Mostly because unlike the other types, it is not character or story driven. It is the art of creatively moving graphic elements or text, usually for commercial or promotional purposes. Think animated logos, explainer videos, app commercial, television promos, or even film opening titles. The skills for motion graphics don't necessarily translate to the other types of animation, since they don't require knowledge of body mechanics or acting, but they do have some attributes in common, such as understanding good composition and the all-important camera motion. Last but not least is stop motion. Stop motion is a special form of animation that combines live-action filmmaking principles with traditional character animation. Stop motion is done by taking a photo of an object and then moving it just a little bit and taking another photo. The process is then repeated and when the photos are played back one after another, they give the illusion of movement. This is similar to traditional animation, but it uses real-life material instead of drawings. Let's look at some different styles of stop motion. One of the most popular form is claymation, working with clay or play-doh characters that can easily be manipulated for animation. Advanced claymation, as seen in The Neverhood or Army Krog, uses metal skeletons on which the clay is then molded for more sturdy rigs. Some animators would use regular puppets instead of clay ones, 
usually also built upon some sort of skeleton rig. The faces of the characters can be replaced based on the expressions or be controlled within the rig. Another popular form of stop motion is cutout, using construction paper or cardboard characters and placing them on paper while shooting the animation from above. That's how South Park was originally made before they switched to computers. Similar to cutout animation, silhouette animation uses cardboard or some kind of flab material, but the objects are all dark and the shot is depicted with silhouettes only. This is one of the oldest forms of stop motion and is rarely used today. Some use action figures or Lego characters for animation. This genre is very popular on YouTube, with many channels dedicated to creating funny skits with Lego characters. Robot Chicken is a great example of that. They use famous action figures to make fun of pop culture. Then there's pixelation, a form of stop motion that uses real people and real environments to create unreal videos. It uses the stop motion method of taking a still photo, moving things around and then taking another photo, but the subject matter is usually real people instead of puppets. Okay, so now that you've seen the different types of animation, I hope na na-determine ninyo yung pagkakaiba ng bawat isa. At I hope na nag-enjoy kayo na panoorin yung mga animation na yon and na-realize ninyo na, ah, yun pala yung type of animation na pinapanood ko or gusto kong gawin kung nagkaroon kayo ng interest when you watch this video lesson to, you know, uh, be creative and try to create your own animation. So, malay na, diba? Yun pala yung path na gusto ninyo. Maging teacher and at the same time, teach animation. O, answer this question that will be flashed on your screen and watch out for our next video lesson.